The bottom line is, brothers and sisters, what do you say when you fear that there's someone who may harm you? In addition to taking the proper action, there's a dua which you should say in such cases so that Allah may suffice you and protect you from their harm. It was a dua as narrated in Sahih Muslim, which a young man said to be protected from an oppressive ruler who sought to kill him. Why? Due to his faith. The ruler sent him with a group of soldiers to the top of a mountain to be thrown off the cliff. But the young man said this dua, so the mountain shook, the soldiers fell and he survived. It was a dua which the young believing man said when he was captured again by the oppressor and a group of soldiers escorted him to the middle of the ocean to throw him off the boat. But the young man said that dua, so the boat flipped, the soldiers drowned and he survived. It was a dua as narrated in Muslim Imam Ahmad, which the Prophet Wasallam said when he was emigrating from Mecca to Medina and noticed Suraq ibn Malik was chasing him to kill him. So the Prophet Wasallam said the dua and as a result, the legs of the horse which Suraq was riding sunk into the ground and the Prophet Wasallam was unharmed. Brothers and sisters, if you ever feared any harm from a group of people or any enemy, then say the following dua. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ikfinihim, suffice me and protect me against your evil, bima shi'at, in any way you will. So once again, the dua is, Allahumma, ikfinihim, bima shi'at. اللهم اكفنيهم بما شئت <تصفيق> May Allah protect you. May Allah make you as means of protection to the ummah. Please be sure to share this video. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.